Hello Linux fans, Rob here. It's been forever since I've posted a video on the channel. I'll uh, go through uh, reasons why a little later, maybe in another video. Uh, but I wanted to share with you um, Linux on Dex. And so this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. Uh, loving this device. I've got the keyboard. It's uh, it's really, I think, top of the line as far as Android tablets are concerned. So the beta was released, and I immediately signed up for the beta. And so I'm going to kind of zoom over here. And you install this from the Play Store. Once you have been, uh, you'll get an email from um, Samsung that it's available. And so you'll go through the process of downloading, in this case, Ubuntu and uh, you'll set up the container. So we're going to go ahead and click into this. You have to be in DEX mode, which I was in previously. And so you'll see here, this is uh, uh, the GNOME version. Well, you know, the, the Xenial GNOME desktop version of Ubuntu. So we're going to go ahead and click Run. And you'll see here that Ubuntu will load in. It doesn't take too long. Go ahead and close out the file manager. Now, I haven't installed apps. This is kind of early on for me, but you'll see here Chromium is set up, Firefox. Uh, you can go right into Terminal. And there's a pretty good selection of apps. I'm filming this on my, on my phone here, so please forgive the, um, the fuzziness, the out-of-focus effect we're getting here. But if you go through the list of uh, applications... It's kind of like a pretty full-featured. You've got a game there. You've got the typical accessories with calculator files. Um, lots of this is working. I, I really haven't... The only thing I haven't been able to do is install uh, install an application. Um, got to look at the password. There's a pa root password required. Calculator, if you go into uh, Chromium here. Um, so everything, you know, you're able to browse, do whatever you need. You, you do have SD card support. Um, and you'll see a subfolder within the Galaxy tab. Once you come out of um, Linux, you'll actually see the folder. So anything you save into that folder can then be retrieved. Uh, so you have right access to one of the folders at least. Um, and then downloads. So, um, and then SD card support, although I got to prove that out. Again, this is super early for me. I haven't had an opportunity to, to um, really get into the details of everything. Uh, if we go to try to load into the store, I just need root access to do that. So I've got to find the password. Let's go through applications here. So you've got Office, you've got LibreOffice. And so from my Samsung Galaxy tab, we're going to launch into LibreOffice 5. Uh, there you go. And it's actually pretty darn fast. I'm surprised at how quick things launch and seem to work. And this is, this is beta. Uh, under sound and video, you've got rhythm box and cheese as well as videos. System tools here, you've got full administration, software update, synaptic package manager, just like you would find within a typical install. Uh, utilities here, we've got Archive Manager, Font Viewer, Document Viewer, so on and so forth. So really looking forward to, to uh, excuse my finger there, really looking, this is going to be the worst video I've ever done on Linux Quest, uh, but looking forward to uh, getting into the nitty gritty of this, getting into the details and seeing how full, full featured it could be. Um, you know, I think that this could get to a point, it's not just for coders, uh, this would be something, if you happen to have this device or the phone, I think this will work as well on the S9 series. And uh, you connect this up to a big screen. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I got a couple <laughs> messages from LinkedIn that popped up there still through this. So uh, anyway, all right, cut it short from here. And if I can get into more details and discover new things to share with you, uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that. Take care.